Hey, what do you do when a potential client tells you right off the bat, I don't have any money to hire you? Do you call them back? Do you even bother to respond? Or do you just let them die in the wasteland? Hey, I'm Bill Yamanskin, a lawman. Call them back. Last night, a lead came in at 10.30. Our auto texted him. And guess what? He texted me up there and you could see it. Yes, I have no money. I still wanted to call him. Why? As lawyers, we have an obligation to give advice and to help people. We don't have to spend hours on the phone, but in this case, it was a DUI and I wanted to help this poor guy get his license. I figured if I called him, gave him some advice, even if he didn't have the money to hire us, he could use that money to get his license back. Well, we talked for about good 15 minutes and guess what? I asked him at the end of that conversation, listen, I know you don't have the money to afford us, but would you do me a favor? I called you back at 1030. We spent about 15 minutes together. I hope I've been able to give you some value. Would you leave me a five-star review? And what was even better, towards the end of the conversation, he asked me, look, I don't think I can afford you. You never quoted me, but how much would it be for me to represent you? I said, gave him a discount, gave him a little discount on the down payment and didn't even ask him to sign up. He told me, I'm gonna get with my family, I'm gonna see what I can do, and I thank you very much for the time. Left me a review, night's over, this morning I wake up, yes, the client signed up. Never my agenda, never my intent, and guess what? He felt loved, he felt cared about, and he knew I never had an agenda when I spoke to him other than give him a free advice. Moral of the story, don't let it go. People are nice, even if they can't afford you, they deserve some love. I'm Bill Umanski, Lawman, out.